What's going on, y'all? So listen. What's going on, you guys? So listen. Oh. oh. Okay, that, that's why I was like that. Anyway, anyway. So I know y'all was like, damn, bitch, what a video at? What a video at? Okay, let me tell you something. This video ain't finna be long because it's not really nothing to talk about. Um, I'll be surprised if it's 30 minutes, bitch, but I just hope everybody has had such a beautiful week, okay? The weather out here been up and down, but it's nothing to complain about. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day if you was booed up, you know, and, um, uh, -da 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 -da, booed up. Okay, uh, you know, congratulations to LMA for her at Grammy win, too, all of that. Um... You know, I just hope everybody had a good time. If you didn't have nobody for Valentine's Day, don't feel bad, okay? Shit, love yourself, you know what I'm saying? Um, Don't be a bit of bitch, okay? That's all we need to do. Don't be a bit of bitch, all right? Um, But, you know, I just hope everybody's been good, okay? So let's just get into this whole thing of what's been going on. I posted what topics you guys wanted me to talk about on my YouTube community page. And, you know, let's just see what you guys got. To be quite honest, it really hasn't been much going on off top. Um, somebody said this whole thing with B. Smith and her husband and the side chick shopping around a reality show. Let me just tell you. Oh, first of all, before we truly get into this. Please, please, please go show some love on my um girl Roxas, Forest Rocks, it's Rocks, whichever one the account is, and her Planet Rocks um you know account as well. Um, you know, Rox hasn't been feeling as well. She has the flu. So, you know, go over there to her older videos on her Instagram, her Twitter, if you are uh, following her Twitter, and um, you know, show her some love or whatever. She'll be back soon. Okay. Um, so we just holding it down for her while she gone or whatever. You know, you gotta keep strong. Um, and shout out to the Ghetto View. She just had her first grandbaby. Her first grandbaby just came to the world a couple of days ago. So congratulations to you on that, boo. Shout out to my girl, Tamika. Okay, bitch, I forgot to say this. I don't know why, but she had her baby like a couple of weeks ago. You know, hit me up late at night. I was like, girl, since you up, boo-boo here. I was like, oh my God. You know, everybody's having babies and shit, making me aunties and shit like that. You know, so... Congratulations to Lil Tegan. How you doing, Lil Boo Boo? Okay, um, so congratulations to everybody. You know, shout out to Rox once again. And y'all go show them some love. Happy birthday to um Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. He just had a birthday. Welcome to the Dirty 30 Club. Okay, so, um, yeah, everybody getting old. Everybody being nice. Everybody feeling good. Uh, everybody's getting better, okay? I just wanted to throw that out there. So, shout out to everybody. But anyway, let's just move back into what we were saying. This B. Smith situation. Um, her husband and the side chick or whatever. Bitch, they some bullshit ass dogs, okay? That's what I feel like. If they really... Any, any freaking cable channel or network out here who will actually give them a show, if this is true... You're trash as hell. You're trash as well. Okay? You are better off with starting your own shit on either Facebook or putting it on YouTube. Because, bitch, I don't want to see you on my TV like that. I don't even want to skip past the channels and to see, oh, my God, they got to uh, uh, accidentally just run past and see that, bitch, the title of your reality show. I don't even want to see that. And I see on Facebook and on, um, you know, for sure, YouTube, I had the option of seeing all that. My tongue blew. I just had a blue Jolly Rancher. So don't worry about it. Okay. Um, anyway, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Okay. That, that's, that's, where's her family? Okay. She ain't got no living relatives around. That's all that I want to know. All right. Where's B. Still? She ain't got no brother. She ain't got no sister. She ain't got no cousins. She ain't got no aunties that's still living. She ain't got nothing. She ain't got a praying grandma that's still around. I mean, she ain't got nothing. Like, come on. Cause this just, I want justice for B. Smith. Okay. And, this ain't cutting it. A fucking reality show? I'd be good goddamn. Moving on from that. Um, What's been going on? Speaking of shows, I will say this. American Soul was another good episode. 
uh, when he had that hoe up in there, that girl came up into his office and the secretary chick that was helping with the, um, you know, getting the dancers or whatever, her, his dance captain or whatever, girl, when he thought that, uh, she was about to be fucking that girl up in that office and he didn't, he said, ain't no tricks on my set and threw her ass out. I was like, that's what you do, die. That's what you do, die. I can't wait to see next week to see how Michelle Williams does because she's supposed to be on that plan, Diana Ross, all right? Last week, in the first two episodes, we saw that uh, Kelly Rowland was on there playing Gladys Knight, and she did an amazing job. Um, it was it was another good episode. Um, that boy, what's his name, TJ or whatever, the girl, Simone's boyfriend, child, they finna get him catched up, okay? He finna get caught up in this mess, all right? You finna um, get introduced to the law, for real, for real. All right, they tried to wake that boy up in, um, who was in, in that coma, Girl, just to get the information out, we got to see if he going to crack and uh, spill the beans on everybody. <sighs> but it was a good episode. Um, they did. I saw that BT did put, um, what's him call it? Episodes 1 and Episode 2 on their channel in full. So if you haven't seen American Soul Episode 1, Episode 2, put it, uh, it's on uh, YouTube, actually, the whole full episodes. Or you can go on BT.com or just wait till they rerun because, you know, BT going to rerun the hell out of the shit. But another show that I watched, Boomerang. Okay. The only thing that I dislike about this show is the fact that it's only 30 minutes long. All right? Um, because I feel as though looking at the first episode... If it was an hour long, you had the kids of Jacqueline and um, Eddie Murphy character. Damn, what was his name? On the original show, Boomerang. And um, Angela. Eddie Murphy and Angela had a baby. And that's Simone. And then you got, um, I think his name, Bryson. That's Jacqueline's uh, son or whatever. Which was played by Robin Givens in the movie. You know, you got them. And I, they're all in the ad agency, advertisement agency. And it's just showing, you know, 20-somethings trying to come up and trying to build their own thing. And Simone is very headstrong. And, you know, she wants to do it her way. And um, she's giving out her ideas. And because Bryson, he likes her. He's taking her ideas and, you know, presenting them to the people. And it don't really work for him because they had another set of ideas that was supposed to work. And it's just a lot. It's, it's cute. I like it. For the most part, I just wish that the episodes was a little bit longer because I feel as though, especially like in the first episode, for it to be an introductory episode, it could have went so much further if it was a longer episode. Um, because it was like the first episode, we, we get introduced to the main characters and the fact that they're at this ad agency. Um, one is owned by one of their parents and then one gets so headstrong that she quits and, you know... I just wanted to see that aspect of the plot line in that first episode develop a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure they probably going to go to it here and out throughout the series or whatever. And then the second episode was them just doing game night and just showing that there is a mutual attraction. Well, on Bryson's side, there's an attraction to Simone. I'm pretty sure that Simone got an attraction to him. And it was cool to see Lala. Bitch, they got Lala Milan up on here. And she the goddamn stripper. I said, girl, I didn't know she was going to be the stripper. I didn't look at the background because I didn't want to, you know, spoil it for myself. But, um... All in all, it's a cute show. It's a cute show so far. It's watchable enough for me. Uh, I will be checking it out. Shout out to Halle Berry. Shout out to Lena Waithe. You know, I hope BT just does the good, uh, does a good thing with this and does not cancel it. Okay. Um, do not do like they did in contempt. I really hope they did not cancel in contempt because I really, really like that. I, I, I enjoyed it. Okay. I, Erica Ash and. You know, all that stuff. And they left it so open for the second season to come through. And I'm just like, where is it? Where is it? You know? But uh, moving on from that, what else is going on? What else is going on in this news? Um, speaking of BT, we might as well just get into it. BT, okay. And my boycott BT, hell no. All right? It ain't that deep for me. Um... Whatever. But my thing of it is this. These companies, these brands, these channels, these networks, these companies, these clothing, whatever, 
you guys have got to vet out the people that you have working for you a little bit better than what it is that you're doing now. Because there is no reason that people should be on your social media accounts um, doing stupid shit, okay, and saying stupid stuff. BT, you are BT. You are not bossip, okay? So, therefore, you should not be putting out dumbass headlines the way that you did in that Nicki Minaj, Cardi B thing, okay? You, you, you shouldn't have did no shit like that, all right? I'm not going to fault the whole network. I'm going to fault whoever the fuck hired the person who wrote that article and tweeted that shit out. They're the ones that's at fault, okay? It's not the whole fucking network. Whoever approved to put that out there and whoever thought that that was a good idea, you're at fault for that. And this is Black History Month, and we don't need our people... You know, I ain't even going to just say our people. We don't need people. We already got enough of this shit that happened pre previously in the year, towards the end of the year... Um, last year with the Nikki and the Cardi thing. It's tired. It's old. I'm tired of talking about it. I don't want to see it in my comments because I will delete it, okay? I will delete it. This ain't no team this. This ain't no team that. And if you don't like one over the other, who cares? Just skip it, okay? That's what I don't understand. People are not mature enough to just say, okay, congratulations and move on or to not give it any attention. I did not like the fact that when Cardi won her Grammy Award, people was bringing up Nicki Minaj. Why are you bringing up Nicki Minaj, okay? Why are you bringing her up? Shut the fuck up and let Cardi continue to get her shine on for this, okay? Nicki will have her chance and quit complaining about the fact that she ain't got a Grammy yet. It's a whole bunch of people that's out here who've been in the business for years upon years upon years that don't have a Grammy yet and they're selling out shows and they they sold millions upon millions of records. They gone platinum. They got other types of award, and they don't have a Grammy award. Just because you don't have a Grammy award does not mean that you're not a great artist. Does not mean that you're not selling out shows. Does not mean that you don't sell out music. Don't mean none of those things, okay? You just don't have a um, fucking award check. That's what it means, all right? Um, So... Quit that, oh, well, she had more hits and this had this. That's not what the Grammys is determined upon, okay? That's not how you get a Grammy because if that's the case, a lot more artists that been out would have had a whole bunch of Grammys these days, okay? And that's not how the Grammy Awards work. Please just stop doing that shit like... You don't have to tear one down to lift another one up. Nicki Minaj should never have been mentioned at all. But, of course, people are too fucking immature and they're going to do that. Nicki had been quiet this whole fucking time, putting out her, her little remixes, her little freestyle, doing what she had to do. I, I haven't listened to him yet. I'm sorry. I said I was going to get to him. i just been busy. But, you know, so far from what I've seen, I haven't really seen no drama between her. I'm not deep into this shit, this Cardi, Nicki Minaj shit or whatever. I thought that shit was chilled the fuck down. Cardi wins the fucking Grammy and all of a sudden Nicki Minaj's name come up because people are petty. People are immature. And I'm talking about on both sides. Cardi stance and Nikki stance, okay? No one is without fucking fault at this point. If you can't just let one woman get... Like, there is no reason why both of these women can't coincide. And I know they both got their issues, but let the shit fucking go, okay? Let Cardi have her shine. Let Nikki do her thing or whatever and just let it to go. BT, you did not have to... Um, Whoever the fuck that was, that was wrong. And that was very tasteless to put that... Um, headline up there, you know, talking about something, they dragging her about her lace fronts. Okay, and, all right, you don't get into that. See, this is what happens when you let anybody come in and want to be a so-called journalist and not professional and don't know the essence and the values of what it means to be a journalist and to be unbiased when you write these headlines or whatever, instead of just giving out the facts. You got to put your opinion in there. You got to put a little jokey joke in there to get, grab the attention and get clickbait. The shit has become so watered down and just so fucking uh that it's like, what's the point at this point? Y'all are, you want to be credible, but you're not doing credible shit, okay? That was wrong and that was tasteless. Is it enough for me to want to boycott? No, no. I'm still finna watch me some BET, okay? Because unlike some of y'all, I still I, I, I still watch the shows on BET. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I don't. I do. Every time BET have a new show come on, I check it out to see if I like it just to lend support. Because I know it's a lot of people that don't watch the channel, even though it has went down in the values or whatever. But they do be having some good programming on there. That problem is they don't know how to bring the shit back for a second season or whatever. I don't understand that. But hey, it is what it is. Moving on from that, don't put that shit in my comments okay we don't have to tear each other down okay i wish i really wish that and hope 
you know, and I know I'm I'm asking for a lot. Like, it'll make me really happy. For real, it'll make me happy if all of a sudden they squashed everything and, you know, like in 2021 or could be 2020, i give it 2021, 22, something like that, if they both still here. 9 and 10, if they both will still be here and then they own the song together, bitch. That'd be like, yes, okay? Because I always wanted them on the song together. I wanted them on the song together when um, Cardi first came out. I said, that would be so bomb. That'd be so fucking bomb. Y'all just don't know. And then all this shit jumped off. And I'm just like... Well, there go my hopes and dreams on that one. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. And, once again, please be respectful. No stand shit, okay? Because this is not, this is a stand-free zone right here, okay? Moving on from that. Um, what else is going on? The whole thing with... I... I... I've come to the point where if Trump is talking, Ashley is not listening. I know he declared a state of emergency or some shit like that just so he can get this wall built. And he's about to get sued because it's really no state of emergency. It's all because he want to throw a temper tantrum and he want to get this wall built. And, you know, the other way that he tried to go about it is not happening. Okay, so he's just trying to explore and, and, and do all that he can to get this shit done. And it's just like... <sighs> It's exploitation, for real, for real. Like, I just, I'm, I have no energy to give to it, okay? Y'all can comment on it and say how y'all feel on it. I just, I'm done with him. I am done with him. Um, Cory Booker, you know, he's running for president. Kamala Harris, y'all trying to get her the fuck up out of here just because she said she'd smoke weed and she listened to Tupac. You know, do you realize that in the context that she said that shit, uh, if she didn't necessarily say that she smoked weed while she was in college and listened to Tupac at the same time while she was in college, she never said that she didn't stop smoking weed or haven't smoked weed since college or whatever when Tupac and Biggie or whoever, uh, Snoop Dogg was out or whatever. So it's a possibility that what she said was correct. So y'all just take stuff and just run with it. But hey, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. This, this, this whole debate shit, when that comes out when they start going through the base about you know trying to figure out who's going to be the democratic candidate you know her card is going to get pulled you know Corey's card is going to get pulled everybody's card is going to get pulled and that just might be an interesting thing to look at i just might pay attention to it okay just to see and be like you better be on the up and up because you know that that's the thing about politics all right if you know that you got a shitty past don't run for politics because they are gonna uh, they gonna pull everything, okay? They are gonna pull everything and use it to their advantage, okay? Try to make you look um you look shitty. Um, moving on from that. So out here are Chicago girl R. Kelly. They done got allegedly there's another tape, okay? Another tape of him put, uh, pissing on a fourteen year old girl and having sex with her, many different sex acts, and it's a clear tape too, okay? Um this attorney they got it um and they're about to indict him on some charges and they said that the tape is still within the statutes of limitation so that's why he's about to get indicted okay so i'm not surprised but so he still so we still lying and we still you know picking on this man because he rich or so-called got money and you know trying to bring a black man down but he's still fucking around with these kids and he's dumb enough see let me tell you something well fuck car kelly up besides the fact that he was out here doing this stuff allegedly okay out here fucking around with these kids and stuff like that you taping it if you don't do something like that, why tape it? Okay, I never understand. And I, I get it's a fetish to go back and watch yourself do stuff. And it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, when it comes to this, but that is evidence. If the tape get into the wrong hand and it's an old tape because it's a VHS, they said it was on VHS, but they said the shit was clear as fuck. And it's clearly him. And you can hear the girl in there talking about this 14 year old person. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh my goodness, my goodness. You know, y'all get his ass out of here. If, get his ass out of here. And I just want to know where the tape been at this whole time and who the fuck was holding on to it this whole time. And why you just not doing something about it now. Okay, that be my whole thing. When we was looking at that whole documentary, why y'all just not saying something about it now? Okay, you know, I know people been saying it, but you are the main people who actually saw the stuff that you claim happened 
why you didn't speak up then? And I get it, the money and the power and all this stuff, but it's more power in fucking numbers. And if all y'all would have came together and been like, look, y'all, <laughs> all of us can't be lying. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. We're going to see how that shit play out. Um, Moving on from that. Demi Levita, uh, Lovato, she back up in damn rehab. After she deleted, y'all made her delete her tweet uh, two, uh, two weeks ago or a week ago or so. And, hey, she back in rehab. That's sad. That's sad because y'all was coming down on her hard work. Well, I ain't going to say y'all because probably y'all didn't even say nothing, didn't even care. But the internet did come at her real hard just because she laughed at a few means of 21 Savage. And speaking of 21 Savage... Um, he's out finally on bail or whatever. Um, they did catch him up because he had a warrant to pay an unpaid bill from a couple of years ago, but I think he's selling that and he probably have to go in front of a judge for that. But he did do an interview, um, speaking on the whole ice thing or whatever. And so... They're trying to get that shit cleared away. And with the way that Trump got these uh, things going on, his policies and stuff, he might still be deported. But it's unfortunate. But at least he's out. At least he's out and he can spend time with his family and his kids, you know. So that's, a, that's, the, that's the upside to it. That's the upside to it. Moving on from that. Um... <laughs> Gucci, everybody uh, want to boycott Gucci and all these other stuff. I agree with it. Um, I never been a label whore like that, or I you ain't even got to be a label whore. I just never been into labels like that, and it just didn't appeal to me because some of that shit just looked tacky as fuck, if you ask me. But um, I didn't. Did, Ti was the one that said let's let's boycott it for like three months. My thing is. Oh, so we just going to be mad for three months? You know, y'all going to do the same thing just like y'all did with the NFL. You got Floyd Mayweather coming out, and at least he being honest about the shit. He ain't boycotting shit, okay? He ignorant as fuck, but he ain't boycotting shit, okay? And, um, I mean, hey, that's how a lot of y'all really feel, to be quite honest. Y'all ain't really boycotting stuff. And let me just say this. I mean, I would like y'all to. Y'all gonna do it just like y'all did with the NFL. Y'all boycotted it for a couple of minutes, and then y'all was still out here at the at the parties. Y'all was, um, you know, rooting for your teams and all this shit, okay? So, hey, it is what it is. And speaking of the NFL, Colin Kaepernick, you know, they settled um, the case of collusion with him, and I think he walked out that bitch with like $70, $80 million, million. You know, some people's calling him a sellout. He's not a sellout, okay? He, they took wages from him because he took a knee, okay, because he was protesting justice. Those wages was what he was supposed to get. So, therefore, he's suing to get his money back, and that's what he got, all right? It wasn't just about a fucking money and all this shit. You know, it was way deeper than that because if it was all about money, he wouldn't have never took that knee. He would not never risk, um, you know... Losing the money. But see, still, on principle, that's the shit that they're on him. Okay? Contractually, all that stuff. So, you know, congrats to him. Get your money, man. And still, and you know he's still going to do good. He's still going to do good with that money. He he, the type of motherfucker that's not going to keep all that money to himself. He not. So, you know, he had to do what he had to do. They ain't want to take that shit to trial because you know it would have fucked him up. Dame Dash out here apologizing to everybody. What you want? Dame Dash saw... The Rock Brunch, Rock Nation Brunch, and how everybody in their mama was out there having a good time, and he wanted to be included, so he said, let me say I'm sorry. Let me finally get off the pod and just fucking say I'm sorry to everybody, okay? But, I mean, it's about time. It's about time. Sometimes it takes us longer than um, expected to, you know, come to our senses about stuff and to grow the fuck up and mature. And if that's what he wanted to do, I applaud him. Go ahead and apologize. Ain't nothing wrong with an apology, especially if you mean it. If you 100% mean it. Um, this whole situation with Monique and Steve Harvey. Listen, I didn't see the whole interview. I saw the clip when he was, they was talking about the financial versus integrity and he was basically about the financials. And if you didn't know this about Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey joked, had a joke about it where he said if he was offered $4 million or $10 million, he would act like a monkey if he wanted to. You know, he went on for a good minute or so talking about it, doing his whole monkey dance and screaming like a monkey or whatever. 
And he was like, my family needs to eat or whatever. So that's why I need to do the financial. Fuck the integrity shit. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, that's like, I, I, I just don't agree. And y'all already know how I feel about the Monique situation. The whole Netflix thing. And the way that she called Tyler Perry and um, Oprah and them out. I get being frustrated. No, Oprah, Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels is not above anybody that they can can't be called out. They can be called out if they did something wrong, but you have to go about it the right way. Telling people to suck your dick and all that shit, that's not right. That's not how you get the attention that you want, okay? But do I feel Monique had her right to say what she had the right? Yes, she did. Okay, she had the right to say it. It's just the way that she said it and how, you know, she went about doing it that didn't sit well with me, okay, um, that whole thing that I saw, it didn't sit well with me, um, with Steve and the way that he was saying certain things, like, you just a suck and job type of dude, that's what he felt like, I never really liked Steve Harvey like that, after the, um, Steve Harvey show, and I started looking at certain things about him, and I just, I just couldn't get into him, okay, you know, the think like, and then you come out with the think like a man book, you, a man trying to tell women what they, no, I just, I just, no, nah, it just never sat well with me, y'all tell me how y'all felt about it, do you get, because I know some people agree with what Steve Harvey is doing, especially when you broke, and, all that shit, you need that money, so it's like, fuck integrity, but once you already settled, sometimes, that, that, see, that's how people got on, you know, throughout the years, especially, go back to the civil rights era, you know, you had people like Muhammad Ali coming out, and who basically got blacklisted, blackballed, and all this stuff, because he stood for what he believed in, he didn't give a fuck about that money, okay, you had a lot of people that was like that, and then you had a lot of people who was like Steve, so, you know, you, I guess you can go either way, you tell me what you felt about it, um, the last thing that I want to talk about, is the whole thing with Jesse Smollett. I really don't have much to say on it, but all I'm going to say is I really hope that Jesse is not lying. I really hope that um, it's so many stories that's coming out, and I don't want to talk too in-depth about it because it's just so much stuff that keeps coming out. Um, at one point, ABC7 Chicago out here trying to put out that, you know, it was uh, allegedly a hoax or some shit like that. And it was two friends that he knew that helped set it up. And they did um, interview and talk to two, the two friends and kind of found out they said the two friends was these black Nigerian dudes. I said, wait a minute. These don't look like the um people that y'all claim uh, said allegedly happened, did all this stuff. But they let them go with no charges. And so that's over and done with because some more evidence started coming in. You know, he finally turned over his phone. Um, he probably deleted some stuff out of there. He finally turned over his phone, but you know, you know, um, you can go into the phone and still get what you deleted out of there. But, um, they still investigating. They tried to make it seem like the Chicago PD was saying that it was a hoax, so they was looking into it like that. And Chicago PD had to come out and say, no, that's not what's going on. We never said that, and we never did say that we believed that it was a hoax or whatever. So they was like, ain't that out. Um, moving on from that, I just don't know because each and every day it's a new thing that's coming out and it's not getting to the bottom of what happened and who did it. And it's just all confusing. So at this point, I'm just going to sit here and I'm just watching. I'm just watching and I'm not saying nothing. Okay. I know y'all about to go into the comments and I know a lot of y'all probably thinking now, got, got different thoughts on this. Put it down in the comments. Let's be respectful to one another. And like I said, I want you guys to have an enjoyable weekend. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your President's Day if you got it off. Bitch, I got it off. A bitch finna get up, caught up on some sleep, okay? But um, y'all enjoy yourself and y'all be safe, all right? And I will see you guys later. I told y'all this video wasn't even going to be 30 minutes, bitch. It ain't even 30. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Peace.